This is Samsung Galaxy A04s and today I would like to demonstrate that you can set up and use the nearby share function on this device. So the first step to take is to make sure that Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and mobile data are enabled. In my case, as you can see, the Wi-Fi is on. I'll tap and uh, activate the Bluetooth and mobile data is also active. So then relaunch the control center or open it for the first time uh, and find the tile that says that or icon or shortcut, whatever you call it, that says nearby share. Here it is in my case. Touch and hold, open the nearby share page, switch on the use nearby share toggle. So at this point, the nearby share function is actually activated. It's as simple as that. But in here, you can also change the device name, which I'll do uh, and change it to Hardy's. Uh, let's see, A04S, well, original. Then you can turn on or turn off respectively the device visibility. And once the device is visible, you can also change the modes for it. So you can you can make it so that your uh, phone will be only visible to your devices or to put it in other words, uh, to the devices that have the same Google account signed into. You can make it so that uh, only people from your contacts list will be able to discover your device and send you files and receive files from you respectively. Or to, or not uh, send, but, well, I mean, not receive, but rather send or uh, make it so that everyone who is in range will be able to interchange files with you. Uh, and final thing to change or configure is the data mode that will be used for transfer, so data, Wi-Fi only or without internet at all. Now we are ready to test this feature out and see how well it receives or will receive the file. So I have another phone on me that I will use. I'll take a screenshot and uh, share it through the nearby share function. So as you can see, my Galaxy A04s gets discovered right away. I'll tap on it. Then I will have to accept the transfer at the receiver's end. I've accidentally canceled it, I guess. Or did I? Oh my God, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons that I can. Okay, so here it is. Uh, that's the window that I've accidentally closed. Now we'll accept the file, uh, the file send sending at the receiver send, so on my end, I tap in at the accept button, and it glitched out, seems like, yeah, but it says that it's failed, whatever. I'll uh, resend the request, and now, as you can see, the image has been successfully received. That was a hold up on my end, it has nothing to do with the feature itself or the device itself. So, well, I would mark this as great success. Alrighty, so that would be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for your attention, and bye-bye.